Hi, my name is Marco. I'm a former opera singer turned voice actor. Today we're going to be looking at Kuroi Uta from Drakengard 3. I don't know anything about this piece besides it's the precursor to the Nier series and it is composed by Keiji Okabe just as the Nier series is. I've listened to it one time. It's uh, it's really beautiful and uh, I'm, I'm curious to see what comes up this time. So a few things right off the bat that I find very interesting about this piece is, to me, this is a song of, of reflection. It's a song of looking back at everything that happened. There's, there's, it's bittersweet. There is a tenderness in here. There is a sense of gentleness. In the melody, there is this, uh, It's melancholy. There's not, there's no joy in this. There's, there's reflecting on what came before and saying, I wish it had been different, but it isn't. It's like quiet acceptance. Like, I, I just can't believe we've come to this point. I don't know what's going to come next, but, you know, I love you or whatever. Also, I think it's interesting, too, that uh, her breaths in the beginning are not only are they left in kind of like kind of salvation, but they are extra. And something interesting happens in silence, in singing. When we breathe and we retain that breath, what does it do for us? It highlights our humanity because all of us on this planet need to breathe. Duh. But there's something about that catch breath that singers do where we tank up our lungs. She doesn't need to do that. It's there for effect. It's there because we're highlighting raw emotion. We're highlighting real We're highlighting honest emotions in that moment. And I think it's very, very smart to include in singing. You know, we're told to honor the breath, honor the space. Silence doesn't mean nothing. It means silence. You can still do something in silence. And I think it's it's a very, very smart manipulative tactic to tug at the heartstrings of a listener to use the breath in that space. Because the breath takes up space and hearing it in our ears makes us feel the humanity of the situation that I don't don't know what the situation is. I also think then adding the drums 
I think that that precipitates this idea that there's something that went on that was really sad. That wasn't that wasn't great. We're doing our best with what's left. Yeah, it's beautiful. Here we go. So sorry, it's so cool. You hear that thing that she just said? She does this thing with um right before the note, it's this it's a cry. We do it a lot in Italian song. We do this thing, it's 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 a very common Italian thing. We do this thing where there's like a there's like a like a cry. It's like ha ka and what it does is it again it's this is all like manipulation tactics but it but it it, it causes us to, to to lean in and we say wow this person's feeling something this is very emotive she 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 leans into that with it's all it's all for effect it's all for expression it's all for musical expression it's it's uh it's it's for, i mean it's extremely effective all right so cool let's keep going It didn't end. It doesn't end. It keeps it open. It's kind of interesting. So this is cool because I always say things are cool, but they are. The piano and the strings, it sounds like uh, one of these like 80s ballads, you know? I think it's interesting that the, the melody, the, the, the voice never changes. It's the exact same thing we've heard the entire song. And the song is six minutes. It's the same melody. It's it's the same thing. Nothing changes, but then you add all these different elements, and this is when it, we 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 stoke the fire 
and you add the drums, then you add the strings, kind of the strings accenting everything around the vocal line. And then you've got and then you've got the piano that comes in. It's like this jazz bar type scenario. And then I think it's very, very interesting that the piano is the thing that ends the song. That's that sounds like reminiscing. It sounds like daydreaming. It sounds like saying farewell. It sounds like reflecting on times gone by. Again, I have no clue what this game is even about. I assume dragons and stuff. What a nice piece of music. It's just like, it's just nice. You know, it's, it's, it's emotional. It's, 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 uh, it's arresting and it's got some like kick to it too. Anyway, as always, see you on the next one. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.